What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news for you. And let's jump into it. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 front cover. If you want to get the official front film screen protector for your Galaxy Z Fold 4, I think there's one already on it, but if it falls off, you just want to get one, whatever, from Samsung. They have an installation video, and they also have a link where you can purchase it. It's like 14 bucks to buy it, 15 bucks, somewhere in that range. And then the video shows it on all of its action, what comes inside the box, everything, so you can take advantage of that. I'll link the video down below, as well as a link to purchase that front film screen protector. Next up, if you're getting the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, they have a feature built into the Buds that I don't think I've seen this in other Buds. I could be wrong, but I definitely haven't seen it on Samsung Galaxy Buds. And it's kind of a uh, be healthy, stay healthy kind of feature built into these new Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. And it looks like Miles Above Tech posted this out on Twitter saying, so with the new Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, it can give you neck stretch reminders. And it says you can turn it on and off. And basically it says if you hunch over your phone or desk, your head tends to look lean forward, which can cause back and neck health issues over time. Your earbuds can detect your head position, and notify you when you've bent your head downward for 10 minutes. And then there's a down below, you'll see how to stretch your neck. So kind of cool to have that built into there. I can see them adding more features like this as time goes on, but what do you think about that feature? Is it something you're gonna keep on or off? Next two stories have to do with the display on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And how it's been improved, not only with quality, but with brightness and comparing it against the Z Fold 3, the Mix Fold 2, and also the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So check this stuff out. So first of all, here's a tweet from Ice Universe saying, next, I will compare the screens of the Fold 3 and Fold 4 external, that's the smaller ones, and you can see that the Fold 4 looks clearer. And he's right, the Fold 4 is on the right, definitely looks clear, a little less pixelated as well. And is it a massive difference? No, but you can definitely tell that there seems to be some kind of more clarity added to that Fold 4 screen. And then the other part of this is that he says, thanks to the extra brightness function, the maximum brightness of the S22 Ultra and Fold 4 are significantly better than the Fold 3 and Xiaomi Mix Fold Two, when we intensify these photos, you can see the Z Fold 4 and S22 Ultra smack dab in the middle, clearer, not as shaded looking as the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2 and the Z Fold 3 on the ends there. And then again, here are the bigger displays and you'll see that you have the uh, first phone should be the Mix Fold 2. Then to the right of that, you have the Fold 4, which definitely looks brighter. And then to the bottom left of that, you got your S22 Ultra, which looks, which looks bright. And then the Z Fold 3 wide open, again, looks a little bit dimmer, a little bit darker, a little bit shaded. So good stuff. I mean, this is the stuff I definitely wanted, stuff we heard, and it's definitely there. And that's great great to hear that not only is clarity and screen size maybe a little bit more comfortable to use with these but also the brightness as well so i'm super stoked about that so far what do you think about the z fold 4 displays so far are you are you pressed do you want them bigger are you happy with the size do you want them brighter do you want them better resolution let me know in the comments down below that'll be your question of the day thanks for watching have a great day and we'll see you down the road Peace.